Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the Pisces Eclipse that we're having on September 17th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this passion card and this meditation card. Uh, I feel like it's a great time to meditate and tap into your spirituality and you know all those other uh, great things. I also think it's probably the best time in history to really manifest a passion or work on a passion that you have and get more attention on it. Uh, we have Neptune and Pisces, which is, you know, the big impossible dream, as I always say. And so if there was ever a time for you to like work on some sort of big impossible dream that you have, uh, that could be a passion project, it would be right now. And uh, we also have Saturn and Pisces, which says if you get to work, uh, you will be very successful. So uh, definitely a good time uh, to do all of that. Um, you also start with the judgment card and the judgment card is your purpose. So a lot of you could be kind of like discovering your purpose or working towards your purpose. This, um, you know, doing things to, um, you know, man, uh, put more energy into whatever you think your purpose is. It's also interesting, we have 555 across the top here, and, um, you know, 555 is a big major change number, so 555 might be important for you. Uh, but you have the judgment card, which is, again, a wake-up call or uh, waking up to something. I'm not really sure where this is going yet. Um, with the judgment card, like, yeah, sure, I feel like you're uh, being called to do things that you're more passionate about and that you desire more, but um, I don't know. I feel like there's more details that need to come out with this judgment card, and we'll see uh, when we clarify. You do have the Five of Swords, and, you know, the Five of Swords can represent taking some sort of risk or taking, and, you know, again, obviously, this would be you taking a risk towards your passion or to do something that you're more passionate about or to make it successful. So, you know, we'll look into it in just a second. Uh, you have the um, High Priestess. Really good time, I think, for digging in for, into mysteries, especially for you. Uh, I think that, you you know, if you have, any, if there's anything mysterious going on <laughs> in your life, I would look into it. You know, Pluto just re retrograded back into your 12th house, Capricorn, and it's at 29 degrees. And the 12th house is all about mysteries and secrets and, and things like that. And this doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, she uh, just needs to look into mysteries. She just needs to, you know, if there's something where she doesn't know the details, she needs to research. She needs to find out what's going on. And she needs to use her intuition. I think sometimes people mix it up with the high priestess and think like, oh, she just needs to use her intuition. It's like, no, she needs to use all her tools at her disposal, which is her intellect and her intuition. She needs to use both. So I would definitely do that. I also feel that the high priestess is saying you need to like dream bigger. Um, she has the ability of like future vision. She has these three stages of her moon of the moon on her crown here, and it represents the fact that she sees the beginning, middle, and end of everything she enters into uh, before she enters into it. But this might not necessarily be intuitive. She is using using her powers of visualization to visualize her a future that she wants to live. So I feel for a lot of you, visualizing would be very important. Uh, you also have the Seven of Swords. Um, every single fixed sign <laughs> pretty much gets the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is really a good card. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. And he is stealing those swords from an army that's in the background. So he is approaching the things that he is working on or the things that he wants to uh, create or manifest in his life. He is looking for the best way to do it. So instead of going to war, he's stealing the swords. He's being delicate with how he approaches something. And that is popping into my head as important for you right now, Aquarius, that like kind of like taking your time in the way that you approach something, especially like a project, uh, a change in your passions. Um, you know, if you're making some sort of change in your life, I feel that doing it in a kind of like slower, methodical way would be a good idea. Uh, with the judgment card, you have the sun. Yes, you should move towards your passions because it's going to make you happy, right? The sun is ultimate fulfillment, ultimate happiness. The sun makes the whole entire reading more positive. So I feel for a lot of you, that's what this is saying. I f sometimes I feel the sun is also saying, you know, do what is easy. He, he is carrying this banner right here. And the whole point of the banner on the sun card is that he is making it look easy. Like he, that banner should be very heavy for a small child, which he is on the card. And so it kind of represents the fact that he is doing something that is hard in a very easy way. And then we go like this down to the 10 of wands. 
Ten of Wands is the hard way <laughs> to do things. Uh, so again, I think that this is basically saying there's an easy way and there's a hard way. And if right now, if you are doing things the hard way, you, the Seven of Swords is saying you need to discover the easy way to do things. And it's not necessarily, again, I, I like to stress because you know some people that watch me think that life is just an easy button where you hit the easy button and things magically happen. Nothing magically happens. Tarot can't make anything happen for you. This is a piece of paper with a picture on it. That's all it is. So you have to do the work. And by easy, it's still going to be work, right? It doesn't mean things are just going to magically happen. Uh, with the High Priestess, you have the Knight of Wands. A really good time for adventure. Everybody gets adventure cards. I think the universe is trying to get people to expand their horizons right now uh, because we're coming from a limited worldview, uh, all that Pluto and Capricorn energy universe. Uh, the Pluto is heading out from Earth. Pluto goes like this. You know, it's like way out here. In, in Capricorn, it's like really close to Earth, and then it shoots out. And I mean close because it's still very far away. But I think that the universe is trying to get people to expand, you know, broaden their horizons, have more fun, have new experiences, all those things. It might seem like something very small, but it's actually very big because if we expand our horizons, who knows what you'll discover? And, you know, really that's why. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, if you're feeling stuck in your life, I feel like you're just not looking for other ways of doing things. Eight of Swords is only focusing on one way of doing things. Ten of Wands is only focusing on what's in front of him. Uh, his face is actually being covered by those wands. He can't see through those wands. He can't see the forest through the trees. And then we go up to the Five of Pentacles, which we definitely don't want. So sometimes I think we work too hard and we actually make less money because we're trying to force something to work. And I feel the solution here is to not focus on necessarily like working hard. I think the reading wants you to think smarter, right? Uh, you have this release card. This is coming up in the area of what's coming in for you. This release card and this gratitude card. I mean, you could be releasing something with gratitude, you know, with that five of swords. You could be saying, you know, I'm ready for the next stage of my life. I'm grateful for everything that I've learned up until this point, but now I'm ready for a new challenge. And I feel some of you are just ready for a new challenge in your life. Uh, you have the five of swords, ten of wands, and the knight of pentacles. The, you know, this could simply also be you walking away from something that is just too much work. You know, the Ten of Wands is too many wands. He is uh, carrying his own burdens, but he might also be carrying other people's burdens. And I don't know because I can't answer that question for you. You know, I would ask ask yourself, am I carrying burdens of other people that don't belong to me? You know, and I think if you ask that question and you walk away from those burdens, things will lighten up in your energy and obviously get better. I do also, again, get something about taking a risk at this time, especially having to do with your purpose. Sun in the judgment card, you know, if, if you have a career, but you think that your purpose is to do something else, I would start giving it a little bit of attention. I always say like, we don't have to up and quit our career. It Like if you have a purpose that you think is something else, we can just start slowly uh, working in the direction of our purpose and see where it goes. And so I think that could be like a little bit of the risk that you're taking at this time. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands. I actually feel pretty good about this. I mean, Ten of Wands is not really a bad card. Um, you know, he's sure he's burdened, but he planted those wands and he's about to reach his home in the background here and the, he's about to release his burdens. He's about to put them down. And so he's about to have a harvest and it's like, yeah, he's put in a lot of work, but he's also about to get the rewards or the fruits of his labor for doing all the work that he has done. So I don't, I don't really feel you know, all that bad about this 10 of wands. I feel like you're about to get the fruits of your labor. It's like you're about to get the rewards for the work that you have done. Uh, you have the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like you're ready to plant new seeds though. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, he's being too cautious. You know, he's overthinking things. He's playing it too safe. And all he has to do is plant seeds in this water here, in the, or in the uh, field here, and they will grow. Everything about the Knight of Pentacles represents knowledge and wisdom. You know, he has these oak leaves on his helmet. The horse has oak leaves right here. Oak leaves in the tarot represent knowledge and wisdom. It's kind of like saying to me that you know everything that you're going to know about a situation, and especially like something that you want. And so the Knight of Pentacles says you might as well start working towards whatever it is that you want, because you already know as much as you're going to know, and you might as well put the work in. Uh, with the Five of Swords, here you go. You have the Judgment card. You know, this could also be the risk of walking away from your old life. The Judgment card, these people are standing in these coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. And they need to step into their new life so that they can find success. Uh, they're being called to a new life. They're being called to leave everything behind them behind. And I do feel a lot of you, um, you know, maybe not like right now, 
But over the next few years, um, you know, it's like what I'm saying is you're not going to do this overnight, right? This is going to be a process. And we have another Pisces eclipse coming up next year, September 7th. We have another Pisces eclipse. The last one in the series will be coming up on August 28th of 2026. So, you know, you got a few years before all of, you know, everything falls into place here. But I do feel a lot of you could be kind of like, um, you know, really leaving things behind or, you know, kind of uh, taking bigger risks to walk away from your old life. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Is the juice worth the squeeze, right? He's looking at all the work that he has done, Ten of Wands, all that work. And he's saying, you know, is it worth it? Or is there something better that I could be working on or something better that I could be putting my energy into? Here's the other thing is that we go up to the Five of Pentacles here. And so this could be saying that, you know, if you're doing a ton of work and at the end of the day, you're left in the Five of Pentacles, which is, you know, a lack of abundance, then, you know, maybe it's time to make a change in the work that you're doing. Uh, and it might not even be that bad. You know, it's like some sometimes... It's like we're getting by, we're making money, and things are fine, but at the same time, things could be better. And so I, I kind of get that feeling. It's like I, I don't know that things are necessarily like ter terrible for you, Aquarius. I just think you have bigger dreams, bigger ideas, more expansive ideas, judgment coming up twice. Um, and you know, I think that you know you want more. And the Seven of Pentacles is saying, you know, look at what's worth it, look at what's not worth it, and go from there. Here you go. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling left out in the cold. You know, I always say that uh, I believe in solutions-based tarot. I focus on the solutions and what solutions you can implement to, uh, you know, get around the energy. The Five of Pentacles, sure, it's a card of being left out in the cold. But the Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. You need to double down on your strengths. And if you do that, then you will easily overcome this energy. So I think that there are, sure, there are plenty of reasons why you can't do something. But if there's even just like one good reason that you should really, you know, try to build that business or write that book or do whatever you're thinking about doing, then and I think that one good reason is enough. And that's what the Five of Pentacles is saying. For others, I kind of feel like you're cheating yourself a little bit here with the Five of Pentacles. It, it's kind of like saying you could have so much more uh, in your life. And I feel the Five of Pentacles is encouraging you to you know, go out and get more. Uh, next in the area of messages from your future self, you have the Sacred Union card. You have this. Uh, you also have this Earth Spirit card. So a lot of you could be grounding a Sacred Union here on Earth. Uh, it could be love. We don't. We don't really see a lot of love in this reading, but you know, of course, it's a general reading. Um, so it could be, but it could be your union to anything. It could be your union to your higher self as well with the judgment card. You know, the judgment card, that angel is your higher self angel. And so you could be coming in, into union with your higher self, meaning that's when we're truly living in purpose, when we are in alignment with who we are. And so, you know, I kind of feel this is saying the earth spirit would say you're taking that vision from your higher self and you're bringing it down to earth. And I feel that would be amazing, of course. Uh, you have the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Temperance card. You know, the funny thing is, if you do want love, I feel like this is two people who need to get out of their head, <laughs> plain and simple. So I feel like this is two people who uh, have had negative experiences and connections. I guess the good news part of this would be that if you are attracting someone, you know, you could be attracting someone who has a similar experience to you. And so that's exactly why uh, they're not going to do the same thing that the last person did to you, to you. So if that makes sense, and I think that vice versa is true as well. I feel like both of these people need to see each other. So again, for those of you that want love, it's almost like it's like these are two people who need to see each other. So it's like maybe you need to get out of the house uh, maybe you need to go on a date or maybe you need to say yes to a date or something like that. Uh, I think what's more important here, though, is that um, that you don't cheat yourself out of something great in your life. And that's what I would pay attention to here. Uh, you have the King of Wands. King of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, uh, really going for what you want. And I, I definitely feel it's a time where everybody needs to be bold and assertive and go for what they want. Uh, you could be attracting a person like this as well, like very fiery, passionate, uh, you know, someone who's like a visionary or, you know, entrepreneurial or whatever you want to call it. Um, but, you know, again, not really a love reading, but, you know, there is there is a little bit here. Uh, I also feel that some of you <laughs> have like visionary ideas. You're an Aquarius, so of course you do. And I think you need to, again, judgment, bring those ideas down to earth. Uh, you have the temperance card. Uh, temperance is about alchemy. It's about turning your situation around or creating a turnaround. I feel like I said this to you recently. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was you um, where I said it's almost like you're mm, like creating a turnaround or 
It's like you're taking what you've been given and you are turning it into something more <laughs> or you're like doing what you can with what you got, you know? And I feel this is a good thing. Like when, when you do that, um, that's when you truly become successful when, you know, the chips are down or whenever, you know, if you want to start a business, but you don't have money and you do it anyway, uh, you know, I think that's when you truly become successful. And so the temperance card says you can turn a negative into a positive, but you can also turn a positive into a negative and really the choice is yours. So I would make sure that you're kind of like turning things around in your life through your mindset. Uh, with the five of pentacles, you have the emperor. There you go. Emperor, empress. So if you want love, there could definitely be an emperor or an empress, whatever it is, coming in for you. Uh, I would definitely say this is like an action taker. Um, you know, probably someone who's more bold, on the bold side of things, more assertive, things like that. Uh, with the king of wands, you have the ace of wands. Yeah, inspiration. You know, th this is kind of like the missing piece to this reading, really, because it's kind of a you know, I, I don't, I don't want to say the word lazy. It's not lazy. It's, um, you know, because there is no lazy energy here. It's uninspired. <laughs> and so I think this is what you've been missing is the inspiration necessary, the spark. You've been missing the, you know, the spark that is necessary for you to grow something new. Ace of Wands is out with the old in with the new. You know, this crumble, this castle in the background is crumbling. And so the card itself says you need to be inspired to, um, you, you know, build something new. And, but maybe you've received the inspiration finally, or something is inspiring you at this time to take action. And I just feel you need to keep building that fire. I always say the Ace of Wands is just a, a spark, right? You have to keep putting wood on that fire so that the fire can grow. So if you are being inspired to, you know, change your business, change your life, whatever, uh, keep it growing. Uh, with the Temperance card, yes, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Very similar energy. Wheel of Fortune, you can spin towards the negative or you can spin towards the positive. And I definitely feel that the Wheel of Fortune is encouraging you to change your fortunes by spinning towards the positive. And that's what I would focus on here uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you show up right here in, in this top corner. So you're kind of like showing up in the reading, which you know, this puts you in a position of power and strength that allows you to get what you want from the reading. So again, your, your fortunes could be turning in your favor. It's also a card of mystery. There's this sphinx right here. The sphinxes kind of represent the mysteries of the universe. Remember what I said on the high priestess, I think that there could be something that is a mystery for you that you need to look into. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this frog spirit says clearing out the clutter. You also have the skunk spirit says know your worth. So uh, again, these fives, could be a good thing because they could be saying that you are clearing out the clutter. Uh, frogs are also animals of major transformations, right? They go major metamorphosis. They go from a tadpole to a frog and you have 555 at the top of your reading, which would be a major transformation or a major metamorphosis, whatever you want to call it. And I feel for a lot of you that, you know, kind of like standing in your worth is going to be important with that skunk spirit as well. Uh, you have the Five of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Empress. Again, this is coming up in the good stuff. So the Five of Cups in the good stuff would say that you're turning around, you're seeing these two cups, and you're getting this bridge in the castle. The Five of Cups is all about gratitude and being grateful for what you have, and then you get something better when you are grateful for what you have. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you know, through your gratitude, you could be attracting bigger and better things into your life. Uh, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a span brand spanking new journey that you could be going on, something completely different in your life. Uh, he is just enthusiastic for something new. He is just excited to start his new journey. And I feel that for a lot of you that you're kind of like starting fresh here. I get this like, um, you know, kind of like a fresh spring energy on this Page of Wands. Like I feel like you're feeling refreshed at, you know, feeling like you're ready for something new, ready for something different, and you're ready to just go on the adventure, which is great. Uh, you have the Empress. The Empress is very good, of course, increasing your abundance. I feel that if you want love or or just, you know, if you want attention, the Empress is great for getting out there, getting attention. Great card for standing out as well. So I feel a lot of you could be standing out at this time. Uh, you can't make this up. With the Five of Cups, you have the Five of Swords. Definitely in time to take a risk. I feel it's time for you to take a risk of leaving something behind. He is, you know, grieving the loss of his taste for wine. He is grieving the loss of something that he once enjoyed, but he doesn't enjoy anymore. So a lot of you, the judgment card says something has been put to rest. It's time to rise above it. And you could be sad over the loss of something that you used to enjoy, but the Five of Swords is like saying, take the risk to, to discover something new that you will enjoy. It kind of reminds me of... So I don't really have any good examples for you right now, Aquarius, but, um, you know, it's kind of like 
there are a lot of changes like technology, right? We have AI. A lot of people are worried about losing their jobs and it's like they could be grieving the loss of something, but yet they complain about their job every single day. <laughs> and it's like, well, how, you know, how can you work with AI instead? Or, you know, how can you go uh, live your passion instead and use AI to in in improve your passion, right? Or something like that. I don't know. That's probably a terrible example. But, you know, again, I think that this is saying like you could be grieving the loss of something that you don't even like anymore. Now with the Page of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups. This is a very free-spirited energy here. Very much, um, you know, kind of like you. You always get the Seven of Cups with me, uh, Aquarius, and you have like every single reading. And this to me would say that you're just like, you know what? I am going to go find out what would happen if I just started that business about my passion. Or I am going to find out what happens if I just like go on a date with that random person, right? And I feel this is going to be very good for you. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Three of Swords here. Didn't you have the Three of Swords already? Or I'm making that up, but whatever. Um, you know, I think a lot of you, it's coming up in the good stuff. It would say that you're healing your heart. Um, you know, the Three of Swords is all about forgiveness and forgiving the past. Uh, we have to remove those swords from our own heart um, before we can heal. And so the Three of Swords is all about healing. But again, it's coming up in the good stuff. So it would say that you are healing or you are, you, you know, you have been on this healing uh, journey. Uh, you have this domination card. I, I kind of feel like you're coming out on top here, Aquarius, especially if you're kind of like leaving something behind that just isn't cutting it with that seven of pentacles. So you really could be dominating the energy. Uh, next, you have this flattery card. Uh, really good for those of you that want love. Um, these two faces are facing away from each other. Uh, these two faces are facing towards each other. And so again, some of you could be discovering a person where it's like you really see eye to eye. I kind of get the feeling from this reading that some of you maybe ha have held on to a past person that really wasn't right and now you're attracting something that is right for you uh next you have this protection card yeah you are protected uh, whenever we get these risk cards um I, li I like seeing a protection card because it basically says you are protected from risk you can take the risk and you will be protected uh, you have this excitement card yeah there is should you should be excited ace of wands you know ace of wands is that exciting new adventure or that exciting new inspiration uh, that could be guiding you towards something bigger and better and uh, finally you have the status card uh, this is my fancy couple card so if you're looking for love definitely could be a person that where it's like the two of you increase each other's status or um, you know it could just be a very solid connection in general uh, but this looks very very good for you Aquarius definitely positive changes I don't think it's been easy but it's good so thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week